All right, so today's lesson is about uh, object mode and edit mode in Blender. Let's quickly explain uh, how you can manipulate an object. In Blender, you can either do it in the object mode or the object side or the outside of the object as a whole, okay? Or edit mode, which is what's inside, all right? Sub-object part of the cube, okay? So in this particular object, it's a cube. So uh, it can be any mesh. It can be done on any uh, uh, mesh objects that you create. So let's start. Uh, let me turn on screencast. Screencast is an add-on that allows you to see what I'm pressing right here. Okay. All right. So uh, when you start with Blender, make sure the object is selected. It, you know that uh, by seeing this yellow or orangey outline in your object okay so uh, when you manipulate an object um, without going to its sub object uh, you can use the transform tools we're going to use the uh, scale tool as an example the keyboard shortcut is s if you just want uniform scaling right if you want uniform scaling right here and then you can be specific with s or and then add x to the axis then you are doing a non-uniform scale along the X. S and then Z. S and then Y. All right, you can be specific. S, X, two, two units. Okay, then press enter, of course, to uh, confirm that command. Undo, okay. You can also do, uh, also do uh, a cancel in Blender where you press S to scale, and this works on any tool. And then just to kind of preview it, and then without committing, so meaning you're not left clicking at all, you're just dragging the mouse, and then you decided you don't want to scale this, right click, it cancels it. All right, so that's object mode where you're manipulating your uh, object in its outside level. Okay, I'm going to do it here with the uh, scale tool. In scale tool, of course, uh, based on the previous lesson, you can also drag the axis and then you can do a non-uniform scale along those. All right. And you can get uh, some modeling done with this, of course, depending on what you're trying to do. Let's say we just want to work on a cereal box. That would be kind of like an eyeball dimension of a cereal box. And then all that's done in the object mode. Okay. So, uh, however, if you, let's say, you want to add um, details to this, then you're very limited in object mode. You have to go to edit mode, okay? So I'm going to click undo here. Maybe go back to the way it was, all right? So let's go to edit mode. So if I press tab, this corner right here switches from object mode to edit mode. So tab is the toggle switch. You can also click the down arrow where it says object mode to go to edit mode. That would do the exact same thing. However, look at a toolbar when I'm in edit mode versus object mode. Object mode, we really have just uh, the transform tools. This is the uh, kind of like the all-in-one tool where you see all three transform uh, transform tools. Move, rotate, scale. We can annotate, and then we can have our measurement. Okay, so everything to do with just outside, uh, just transforming it. If we want to make this into kind of like a pyramid shape we won't be able to do it in object mode all right because we don't have the tools for it because we can only move it rotate it and scale it at a particular axis right uh, this is your scale uh, your select tool by the way and that's your cursor position so those things are always going to be there whether you switch to object or edit mode so let me hit tab and as you can see everything here pretty much is kept and then we added all these tools that you can do in edit mode. So this is where the fun starts regarding um, your modeling adventure, right? So usually it's hard to uh, for students that are just starting to kind of imagine that from this cube you can make like a dinosaur or Woody from Toy Story, okay? So it's, uh, it's because of edit mode, okay? You are able to add more uh, to the uh, primitive cube. All right, so that's an edit mode. So when you're in edit mode, you have three types, uh, at least for polygon. You have your points or vertices. So this depends on the program. Some program, they call it points. I remember uh, they were called points in Softimage. 
I don't remember now. Uh, but vertices or points, right? And then you switch to the next one. That's the first one right here. Right here it would be edge or lines, right? And then the third one is polygon face. So you get selection of the entire connected edges, okay? So the keyboard shortcut for this would be one, of course, you know, tab to go to edit mode. And then if you press one on your alphanumeric uh, keys, all right, not your numpad. One key, uh, keyboard shortcut is for points or vertices. Two is for edges. Number three is for faces. Okay. So that's pretty much it regarding your keyboard shortcut to enter uh, edit mode and to change the selection. Okay. All right, so let's start with number one here with point mode. So you can select and add shift to your selection. Okay, and then you can also click the same vertice to unselect it. So shift is to add and deselect. All right, so let's say I want to select all the top four points here. I can drag a rectangle. If I did that a little bit bigger and I accidentally included that one, it gets selected. If I go to X-ray mode, which is this one right here, then it becomes see-through. So if I'm not really careful here and I drag all the way right there, that gets part of the selection because now it's see-through. The good thing about this X-ray mode is that you don't have to select what's behind the uh, viewing plane, right? Or what you're seeing on your camera. Example to this would be if I change this view to the front orthographic, meaning front viewport and flat. So I'm gonna press number one on my numpad. There we go. If I have X-ray off and I drag a rectangle because I want to select all the top four points, I only get to select what's in front. So you can see right there, those back are not selected. If I press number one again on the numpad to go back to the front viewport and I turn on X-ray, there's my selection. It goes all the way to the back. So just remember that sometimes you expect to select the back, uh, but you're not, uh, you're not in X-ray uh, mode. Um, you will not be able to, and you ended up uh, damn, you know, ruining your model because you're thinking you grab both, right? So we're gonna turn this off for now because we only have eight points here. I could easily rotate and check and whatnot. So let's take a look what we can do when we're in edit mode. First is that all the transform tools still here uh, applies, all right? We're not even talking about the fancy tools that are down here, just your classic move, rotate, and scale. So if I have all those four points selected and I decided to grab the move tool and I want to go up and down, there you go. So big deal, because that's still the same as before, correct? You could have easily scaled it along the z-axis. You could have performed that. But let's say on this one, I grab just those two points, click down and shift click this, and I drag this x-axis like so, and drag that one. This is not possible in the object mode setting because you can't move just specific parts of the cube or the object. So this is the power of edit mode where you can go in there and if you have as many points or lines in there, you can manipulate those, okay? So for now, let's say I wanna make a pyramid here, but I'm gonna leave a little bit of square at the top, okay? So that I can um, make sure that it's, uh, it's not going inside out when I scale it. So I'm gonna click undo here until it's go it goes back to cubic shape, okay? There you go, it's a cube. I'm gonna select all four. I'm gonna do scale tool. Okay, you can click the scale tool right here when you drag the white red, uh, I mean white circle, sorry. You can scale it. You can also do S and scale. However, when you put your cursor so close to the median location of your selection and you press S, you don't have a lot of space to drag. You see it? So it makes it a little uh, hard sometimes to kind of manipulate that. So make it a habit when you're just starting, when you press scale or want to use the keyboard shortcut to scale this, move your cursor away a little bit, press S, then you can scale it a lot easier and slower, okay? All right, so let me zoom in. 
okay or if you press dot on your numpad it zooms in on the selection okay so now I know for sure that that thing is a small selection but I still want to kind of scale it so I'm gonna drag here I don't want to make it like into a single point and you could actually go a negative scale right there okay right there it looks like it's all together but it's not there we go so we're able to make a uh, pyramid okay so let's change our selection I'm gonna go back to my select tool here so that I don't see the gizmo floating okay because you can't have um, you can't make it disappear without invoking a new tool so remember that one so have uh, most of the time you're in select tool anyway okay I'm gonna go select edge mode or number two I'm gonna select all four lines at the bottom so I'm gonna rotate my camera like so middle click drag it okay this time uh, so that you don't accidentally click other lines it would be a good time to select the x-ray mode the keyboard shortcut for x-ray mode is alt z or option z if you're on a mac alt z toggles that so here i can clearly see or i could tell at least my four lines easily okay because we're in x-ray mode and here you could actually def you know see it's a definition right there the square at the bottom once i have that selected i can move and kind of change the height of that one selecting all four is equivalent to going into face mode or number three on your keyboard and simply selecting that face right there let me turn off x-ray mode so you can see that easy there we go all right so that's in a nutshell and you can do the rotation of course uh, is your edit mode and using just transform tools.